Hello everyone. Welcome to Wordsmith with us on Yabs TV, sponsored by the Rose Foundation. My name is Natasha Dean and today I'm going to be talking to you about creating depthful characters and really simple ways that you can create characters that your readers love or love to hate and doing it all by turning up the heat on your characters. At the end of this video, I will also offer you a writing exercise that you can do that will help you get to know your character a little bit better and maybe even reveal a couple of secrets about them that you didn't know. And as a special bonus, if you're viewing this video before July 25th, 2020, then you have the opportunity to send your writing in to me and I can offer you feedback on it. When we're talking about creating doubtful characters, what we're talking about is creating characters that are so true to life that are so relatable, so identifiable, that our readers really believe that they could step off the page and into their lives. And we've all had that experience. We've all been reading a book where all of a sudden we lose track of time, we lose track of what's going on because we're so focused on this character, we're so caught up in their journey that we just have to keep flipping those pages. So the question is, how do you do that? How do you create characters where people just keep flipping pages? And it's kind of a triangle. So there's three things you sort of want to think about. So the first thing is, what does your character want? Like they have to have a driving force that is pushing them and propelling them through the story because not everything is going to go their way. So they need something that is so important to them that even when things are not going their way, they're still going to get up in the morning and they're still going to push themselves through because they really need this thing. They really need Now, when we're talking about my character really needs something, what we're also thinking about is how is this problematic? So in the Bones to Body video that I had done, uh, I talked about my story where my character uh, is trying to fight off aliens who have landed on Earth and who want nothing good for humanity. How I make that a problem is what if my character is the only one that's seeing this and when they're going to get help, no one's believing them, no one wants to help them and then how do I make that worse? Well, what happens if the aliens tag into the fact that my character knows what's going on and knows what their true agenda is and all of a sudden now the aliens go and they steal uh, and kidnap someone that my character really, really cares about. So my character has a driving force and now it's become problematic and now it's going to push them through the story because lives are literally at stake. Now, the third thing that we want to think about is how, right? My character really wants something. Here's why they want it. Now, how are they going to go and get it? Now, I love the how because the how is where our character's personality shines through. This is where we see their strengths, this is where we see their flaws, this is where we see all the things that they have to learn through the story. So my character uh, is going to try to stop the aliens. Fantastic! Now I can have a character who is like really physically strong and sets out and says, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I can like tackle them all, you know? Or I can have a character that is emotionally strong uh, and says, okay, well, I don't have the physical strength, but hmm, I'm, I'm really good at looking at emotions. I'm really good at like reading people. And that's why I know these aliens are lying. And now I've got to like really look at these aliens to figure out what's their weakness. And now I'm going to use that to defeat them. Uh, maybe in my how, I'm going to have a character who's not really great at any of those things and he's completely out of his depth and now he's struggling and he's looking for help but nobody believes him and now here's all these things getting worse for him and how is he going to do that? But so as your writing exercise, here's my question. What is it that your character would never do and in the writing exercise, can you get your character to do the thing that they said that they would never do and can you figure out a way to make it make sense about why your character, who at the beginning of the story says, oh, this thing, no, 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 I will never do this thing, where all of a sudden now they're going, yeah, you know what? This is the thing I've got to do. As a bonus for anyone watching this video before July 25th, 2020, you can send your story exercise or your story questions to me via the Young Alberta Book Society TV at gmail.com. I'll look at your stories and your story questions and offer feedback in a follow-up video that will run on July 30th, 2020. So my friends, that's it. When it comes to creating doubtful characters and characters that keep our readers turning the page, it's all about giving them a driving force, 
creating problems through that driving force, giving them a how and a why, using all of it to turn up the heat and keep our readers up until the late hours reading our story. Happy writing, and I look forward to answering your story questions and reading your work. Thank you for joining me on today's session, Bones to Body, on Wordsmith with us on Yabs TV. And thank you as well to the Rosé Foundation for their support of this series of videos.